Hello, it's Behaving Beardly, albeit a, um, a sleepy Behaving Beardly at the moment, um, with another, <laughs> another streamer's DIY video. I've been asked for this one a lot. I'm sorry it's taken me this long to get here. Um, so basically, I, I'm going to get straight into this. Um, when I get, say, a new follower on stream, I, I'm normally shout something along the lines of, Hello and welcome to Behaving Beardly! Zoom into the beard, which is much more groomed than this. We can zoom back out. And I get asked all the time, like, how the hell do you do that? Now, just to quickly cover, this is an OBS plugin, OBS Studio plugin. You can't do this on Streamlabs OBS. Um, so I just want to get it out of the way before uh, anyone gets halfway through the video and realizes they can't do this. Um, but another application, just to quickly show you. Um, when I want to show my spare monitor, um, I can I can bring it in like this. Everything kind of slides off the screen. It slides in my, my fourth monitor, which... Um, Where's my mouse? Um, so I can show you. There we go. Ooh, that's my fourth monitor up there. Uh, and then we can we can get that back out again. So you can just slide things around. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. Um, you can also slide across the screen like this. So this is my like uh, show and tell webcam. And slide it back. Um, so there's lots of things now. Um, some people watching this video might already be using what's called the motion plugin. Uh, the motion plugin was great, but it has its issues. Um, every time you open OBS, you have to change um, the settings for it to work right. So if you want it to move in a straight line, it doesn't, it curves un unless you change it back to default. Um, another bug it has is if you use the filters rather than the transition, which I used to do, it actually breaks your stream deck and makes it lag out like crazy. Now, that's been going on for nearly two years, and um, no one realized that that's what was causing the issue. It took me six months to figure that out. Um, so that's what's made me look at this new move transition, which so far so good. It's um, it's not caused me any issues. Um, it's been I've used it for free streams now. It's been perfectly fine. So I will get straight into it. Um, what you can see here, this is my second PC. So this is a, a version of OBS that doesn't have any filters or, or any or any transitions programmed into it. So we're going to do it from scratch on this PC. Show you how it's done. I'm firing through this as quick as possible. Um, so just to get it out of the way, if you do find this helpful, um, you know, please do like, uh, subscribe, uh, you know, share with your fellow streamers. It's very much appreciated and helps out more than you probably realize. Right, let's um, let's get straight into this. Here we go. I'll turn the, the webcam off because nobody wants to see a sleep deprived behaving beardly. Right, here we go. Um, first of all, you're going to need to download... Um, the oh, in fact, here you go. Here's a quick example of what else this can do. So um, you can see at the bottom left here that they're changing through the scenes. So this is all as you change scenes, you can you can kind of make all this wonderful magical stuff happen. It's um it's a very nice little system. So anyway, I'll um I'll close that off and we'll we'll start looking into how we do this. So first of all, you'll need to go to this website. I will send you. I'll drop the link. Sorry, not send you. I will put the link in the description below the video, but it's actually got full instructions here as well, which is always nice. So first of all, we're going to go to the download link, which you can you can see here. So under, oh, sorry, not under the link, Linux, Windows, my apologies. Um, so it says here, unzip the download in the OBS folder. So you're going to unzip this into your OBS Studio directory. Download. Find the version that's appropriate for you. So we've got the Windows zip for myself. You know, you've got Linux and 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 what and so off. This is um, a tutorial for Windows, obviously. Um, I'm going to open up this file. There we go. I'm going to extract it. We're going to extract it to the OBS installation directory. I've just got to find that. There we go. And once it's um, unzipped in the directory, you can just go ahead and double click on the move transition installer. Um, well, if this pops up, you can just click on more info and run anyway. Install, blah, blah, blah. Yes, install to the OBS studio. Um, install, yes, let's go. Next. Finish. And that should have put the transition into your OBS. So under here, we've got our scene transitions. Um, so what we're going to do is add 
a new transition and it should have moved, but it doesn't. So we're just going to close OBS, see if it just needs a quick restart. And there it is. So obviously OBS needs a quick restart as well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just copy this scene a few times. So we'll duplicate scene two, uh, duplicate scene two, two, <laughs> duplicate. So this is just to show you it working. So I will add an image into this um, folder just to give you an idea. Uh, image. We'll just grab some random image. The first one that I see. Um, what's this? Thank God that was nothing inappropriate. <laughs> and there we go. We've got a random Sea of Thieves image. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste this into um, every single scene. And we can um, move it around. So in this scene, we'll... Um, well, why is that not letting me paste? Copy. Paste. 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 So what I'll do on, on this scene, I'll delete it completely off just to kind of, I'm going to demonstrate some things. I'll move that down there. Okay. So as you can see at the moment, I've just got a general fade on there. There's nothing on that scene. Um, and what we will do is, I'm going to delete that one. So once we've got our, our kind of scene set up and you've got the images where you want them or sources or whatever, webcam. Um, and just to give you an example of a zoom in, let's make this bigger. Um, you want to go over here to your transitions tab again, sorry. Go to add. We want move. So we're creating a new transition here. Call it whatever you want. And here is the box where you set up the setting, uh, the kind of, well, the settings for the transition. So first of all, the mo um, you want it to identify the sources that it's going to move. So basically, do you want it to um, apply to these sources that have the same name? Well, yes, in this case. Um, so do you want, so if you've got two sources at the same name, but with different numbers at the end, do you want it to include that? Um, this is all entirely up to you. Um, so you can, you can pick and choose those as they are um, applicable. Switch point. So this is the um, the point in which it actually transitions to the next image i always just keep that at 50 again i'll kind of run through all this really quickly you can um you know swap and change this and, and play with it to figure out you know what works best for you um easing so basically we've matched items so this is when so like my two images i've got the same image across two scenes so this is the settings that apply to that so ease in and out do you want it to kind of ease into the movement then ease out um do you want it to just kind of go in a straight um solid movement um, ease into it and then, you know, speed up towards the end. It's, it's entirely up to you. Also with easing, you've got the easing function. So these are nice little effects that it can, um, apply to the kind of, you know, heading into the transition and heading out. Um, just to kind of give you a quick example of this, I'm going to just switch this to bounce, um, which is quite nice. So what happens is, um, if I change this to bounce and go to ease out, what will happen is at the end of the transition, it'll have a nice little bounce effect, which I, I quite like. Um, you can try all these out and, and see what you think. But if I just go to that and just show you here, you see how it just kind of bounces when it finishes. And then when I zoom out, it'll bounce into place. It's a nice little touch. So yeah, there's, um, there's also the option of adding those little effects as well. Um, transition, again, I always, um, you know, I always leave that as none, to be honest. So it just moves um straight across uh and scale type that's whether you want to keep the aspect ratio etc um and then you can decide whether you want a curve or not so if you can you can pull it that way and it'll kind of like hoop across like that or if you put it bang in the center it will just move in a straight line again i could i could demonstrate all this really quickly but i just want to get this through as easy as possible uh, and as quickly as possible uh appearing item so this is when you don't have anything on the scene but on the next scene you're um, source comes into play. So what do you want to happen? So where do you want it to come from? Do you want it to come from the center of the left, the top left, uh, the right of the scene, the center of the scene, whatever you want. I'm just going to say coming from the bottom right now. And then you've got this as well. Do you want it to zoom in or not? 
So if you have it, if you have a zoom checked, it will start off as like shrunk and then zoom into the the position. Or I, or if you uncheck that, it'll come at the exact same kind of size and and slide in. Uh, and we've got the same for disappearing items here. So I'm going to add a curve on this. Um, you can always pr preview transitions as well. But what we'll do is we'll just go straight into OK. And then um, what you've got to do is right click, transition override, and apply your move transition to all the scenes that you want this to apply to. So I'm going to apply this to all scenes uh, just for demonstration purposes. I know I'm flying through this. If you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below or join the Discord. Again, link will be in the description. And there we go. You can see it's just kind of like sliding in and out, moving around. Um, that's that's just kind of like flying out because I've told it to go to the um, the the right hand side of the screen. So if I go back into settings, properties. So when the item is disappearing, I've got it to disappear to the center right. Looked a little bit weird. I'm going to turn zoom off and I'm going to tell it to go to the bottom um, left. And that should shoot out the bottom left now when it disappears. So whoop, there we go. That was the bottom right, but maybe I clicked on the wrong one. There we go. So and that that's basically it. Um, like I say, I wanted to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, I hope that has been helpful. It is actually quite simple. Again, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, obviously, I am a Twitch streamer. I am a Sea of Thieves partner, so I do basically broadcast uh, Sea of Thieves. But if you do want to come onto the channel and ask any stream-related questions, I am happy to take them. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much. Again, do like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Thank you. Goodbye. See you later.